I think in the book you write about a, a particular case of, is it twi conjoined twins who were conjoined at the brain effectively and shared, I think it was a thalamus, and they seemed to kind of see what the other one was seeing? Uh, yeah, so there's, it's, you know, it's, it's anecdotal because the parents refuse to have their kids image, and it's very difficult to image, of course, two people that are attached by their brain. Yeah, the Tatiana twins, so they're conjoined twins at birth, they're, they had this thalamic bridge, and so they, the, they must be now like 10 years old or 11 years old, these two girls here in Canada, in British Columbia, north of me. And they, they run around with their head always together. So everything they do, they do as, as one. But at least during the day, they, they seem to, they have different food likes and dislikes. And they clearly, they seem to, they seem to be two independent girls with, at least that's according to the mother, with different traits. But when they, when they become tired, they seem to behave more like one, and it's not clear what happened. They, they wake up and they, uh, they go to sleep together and they wake up together. I mean, physically, they, of course, they always have to sleep together. And so the question is, is, is there some waxing and waving? Are there sometimes two minds and sometimes one mind? It's, it's difficult to say, but at least that might actually be a practical case where this actually might be happening in reality. And it's, you know, you can read all the, the, the world's great love stories like Tristan and Isolde. I mean, here you're truly merging with the other ones, right? Because otherwise, even when you're making love, in the act of love making, there's still you and there is the person you love. And even though your, your bodies may be physically, you know, penetrating, but there's still you and, and there's, there's the, is the loved one, right? And you can't get into their mind. This way you get into their mind, but of course you also give up your own mind because there is only one mind now, the, the mind of both you and, and, and the lover is now one mind. Of course, it could also give rise to all sorts of pathologies. Right? You, can, you can imagine all sorts of psychiatric conditions. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's a, um, a good way of thinking about th that the self, you know, as, as it appears in consciousness, usually, you know, it isn't, isn't quite what we think it is. You know, when you think of twins um, diverging from coming from a single egg and, and becoming multiple people, if you believe the self is some kind of solid thing that exists, you, you get into all kinds of problems with thinking, you know, is there, is there one self with these con conjoined twins? Um, 